Greetings, brethren. Habsburg Adonke here. And I... Well, so you saw me recently start the Old Hammer High Elf project log and the Demon World project log. You know that I work on a whole bunch of Oathmark stuff. And I also have uh, a new army sitting here for Age of Sigmar, which is my Flesh Eater Courts. But there's a big problem. And that is... Oh yeah, and there's also, of course, uh, over here I have a box that uh, contains... No, that's actually the wrong box. <laughs> there's another one of these, and that contains a whole bunch of uh, uh, jinetes that have already been built for my Italian Wars project. <sighs> I have too many projects. That's the problem. And that's the point of this video, because I have decided that before I start on any of this other stuff, so before I start on the Flesh Eater Courts, before I uh, continue on Old Hammer and Demon World and all this other crap, I need to clear the bench and get some stuff done. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the next couple of weeks and probably months, because there's, you'll see, there's, there's quite a lot of this stuff. So first of all, we have a project that I started all the way back in... 2018, I believe, when uh, Age of Sigmar became really big locally, and I was quite happy about that because the only other game that's really big here, or the only other two games that are really big here, are Warhammer 40k and War Machine, both of which I do not want to play. So having some other game that people are playing, that, that was really helpful for me. And so I was looking around for an army to play. I didn't like most of the new stuff because they only had like two or three units for each new army and I didn't didn't like that. I didn't want to play uh, Stormcast Eternals. So I decided to grab some Night Goblins because I've always liked Night Goblins. And um, I was kind of hoping that they'd update the army at some point and then they did. Uh, so in, yeah, in 2018 I started building my army uh, with things like an old scar snake. Um, you can see I've already started painting him last night when we were uh, doing the Oathmark Discord uh, meet, because uh, it's a good it's a good bit of time to to get some painting done, especially painting you don't really want to do. Uh, so yeah, I, initially I bought scar snake and I bought a whole bunch of night goblins and. Uh, I have a, an absolute load of these. Uh, I've already painted quite a few. I've actually painted 40 Night Goblins with Spear and 20 with uh, Hand Weapons. But I have another 40 in here. As you can see, there's no end to them <laughs> with bows. So there's another 40 Night Goblins with bows that need to be painted. Then there's Skarsnik. On, uh, and I already started on Skarsnik. Then there is a regular Loon Boss. Uh, this is sort of the standard hero choice for the Gloomspite Gits that buffs uh, the infantry goblins. Uh, yeah. So the biggest problem with this project in general is that um, if I don't complete a project within a year, I'm starting to get fatigue from it. Uh, and I, 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 it's becoming less and less likely that I'll do more of it. And so after over two years, I mean, I, I started as mid-2018, so we were coming up on three years for this project. I have practically no interest in it. I don't want to paint any more, but they're sitting around. And I bought them, which means I spent a whole bunch of money on all this stuff. And uh, yeah, and there's some other issues, namely I don't really enjoy... Um, I have a lot of... Basically everything I've painted is, is regular Night Goblins, and there's ever more of these night goblins. Um, and I don't actually really like the playstyle that utilizes the regular night goblins. What I enjoy is all the new squig stuff. The squig hoppers are awesome. The squig herds are really fun. Um, the, uh, the boss on Mangler Squig, which I have already painted, is really fun. I have this uh, loon boss on Giant Cave Squig. So all the squig stuff is really fun, and the troll stuff, that's also really fun. But I don't actually have that much uh, stuff on squigs, and I don't have that many trolls. 
I have mostly infantry goblins, so the actual playing of the army has not really been that fun. Um, and that's kind of added to the problem where, where I'll start painting something, but then I immediately lose interest because I, I also play a game with them and they're just not that enjoyable to play because I don't have the right stuff. And I don't really want to buy new stuff because I have all this unpainted stuff. So it's it's been kind of a vicious circle with this project. But uh, the point is, I just I just need to hunker down and actually paint them all. So I have I have this loon boss. I have Scar Snake, who is a loon boss with giant cave squig, and he's uh, fine cast also, which is awful, but it's fine. We'll get him painted. Uh, then I have this uh, this madcap shaman, which uh, is actually a conversion I did. Uh, this is originally a Gracia, a Skaven Gracia, and uh, I did some minor conversion in that I, I shaved off the fur on his arms and sort of re-sculpted them slightly. I didn't do much to the feet because I felt they'd be fine. And then I pretty much just replaced the head with a spare uh, squig hopper head. And uh, he was holding sort of a, a, a warp stone ball. And I added some green stuff to kind of make it a flower pot for a bunch of mushrooms. And then inserted some more mushrooms on his stick. And uh, he also got sort of a uh, sort of a, a moon sickle kind of uh, thing on his staff. And there's another mushroom on top. So it's kind of a simple conversion, bit of green stuffing. But uh, yeah, I really need to get this painted finally. And then lastly, we also have this little chap uh, who I discovered after I started painting these yesterday. Um, uh, he's from the Shadespire Warband, the uh, the Night Goblin Warband. And uh, yeah, I'll paint him as well because I have him and why not? And then further, uh, you saw the 40 goblins, then there's five more uh, squig hoppers that need to be painted. The uh, heads of the squigs are separate because they are much easier to paint when they're not on the squig and you can actually paint the tongues. Uh, then I have two more endless spells to paint. Uh, the pot, the little spider-legged cook pot and then the big exploding uh, mushroom and that's definitely not an atomic explosion uh, turned uh, mushroom. But uh, yeah, these two, I, I did already paint the other two uh, endless spells. And then you saw the, the other squig hopper boss, uh, will, which will be painted alongside the squig hoppers. And then lastly, we have the other Shades by a band, which is Molog with his little squiggly friends. And that's all I have. Um, I have absolutely no trolls in my army. Uh, which is kind of disappointing because I, I can I really like them, but I at some point I just said I'm not gonna buy anything else until the rest is painted and that's that has also been a year since then. So yeah, these are definitely gonna be the next uh, thing that needs to be done. I've already started on these characters and then after that I'll probably uh, plow through the 40 goblins and get them done and then we'll we'll see how we get along from there. Next, we have uh, something that belongs with my Carthaginian project. And that is a whole bunch of Republican Romans. Uh, these are just the standard Republican Romans from Victrix. And uh, as you can see, the shields are still on sprue because they're easier to paint that way. And it is two full maniples um, with basically the um, each unit is going to have eight figures, so each unit of Hastati will be... Uh, so, uh, let me just grab two. So this is, for example, Hastati unit, uh, first maniple, uh, first maniple Hastati unit one, and it's going to be these eight figures. And they'll be together on a 80 by 50 millimeter base. So it'll be just one base per unit. And then, yeah, two Hastati, each maniple, two uh, uh, Principes, uh, one Triarii unit, and then uh, we have some Skirmishers as well, and I also have some Velitas somewhere that will be a, sort of a formed Velitas unit, but I don't actually know where they are. They're somewhere in this box, it doesn't matter. Uh, actually, I think these are the Velitas. Yes, they are. <laughs> this is the formed Velitas, 
And then uh, the skirmishers I made basically sort of uh, youths with not even helmets on. Yeah, this is uh, this is a whole bunch of figures. Um, I think it's close to 100 figures in this box. Uh, I'll definitely do this as a speed paint. So this will probably take me... I mean, if I'm really... If I have a lot of time on my hands, I can probably knock this out in two weeks. But I don't know if, I ha if I'll have this much time on my hands. We'll see. But uh, obviously I'm going to use shield transfers because it's it just saves time. Um, if I don't have to, you know, paint and then uh, freehand all the shields. These are going to be for the Triarii. And then first and second Manable. And yeah, I want to get these done so that the Carthaginian project is well and truly completed. Uh, sure, I could use some uh, elephants for them, but... <sighs> yeah, some other time. <laughs> for now, I just want to complete these so that the silly little box doesn't have to stand around all the time. And then after that, we have my Oathmark Goblins, which is still this box. And uh, you can see, well, we have two units. Oop. Oops. Made made some, some damage. Uh, whatever. Uh, we have two units of wolves, just regular old wolves with no riders. Then I have uh, one ten-man unit of sort of melee wolf riders. And then we have one more unit. I already have one of these painted, but I have one more of five wolf rider scouts. Then I have ten more goblin archers to do. And then I have... Uh, 20 more goblin spearmen, which was not the best idea to make these spearmen as well. I probably should have had a second unit of soldiers, because uh, goblin spearmen are kind of, yeah, not the best. But this is what I have, and I'll paint them this way, and it'll be fine. Uh, and then I have three trolls. I also have three more giant spiders, which kind of belong to this army and the undead army at, at the same time. And then I have 20 evil dwarf warriors that I converted. Uh, I used the regular dwarf infantry from Oathmark. I uh, gave them uh, goblin weapons, uh, also goblin shields. Uh, these tails are from the goblin wolf rider kit. Uh, the first unit has a bunch of these tails, the second unit does not. I'm still kind of thinking whether or not I should sort of mix them. Uh, let me see. The second unit... There, the second unit has all sorts of shields that came from all sorts of places because I kind of just didn't have enough of these goblin shields anymore. Um, but yeah, I have two full 20-man units of these dwarves, these evil dwarves, uh, that will be warriors in, in this goblin army. And yeah, they, they need to be painted as well. So there's 40 dwarves, 20 goblins, 30 goblins... Uh, 15 goblin wolf riders, 10 wolves, 3 trolls, and 3 giant spiders. So it's it's still quite a lot of stuff for this army, and um, you have seen these before, of course, these goblins. Uh, I do take more care in painting these, so they also take longer. Which means I'm guessing this by itself will probably be at least one and a half to two months of painting. Plus the... Uh, the Romans, which will hopefully be two weeks, but they might as they might also just be two months. I don't know. I don't know how much time I'll have to paint them. And then at least a month for all the Gloom Spite kits, because they're also painted in, in a slightly higher quality. And I think that also is the problem, uh, is that these projects have sort of accumulated because the, the painting quality is higher, which means I kind of get fatigued with them earlier than I do with uh, speed painting stuff. And it also just takes me longer to complete them. So I, I'm thinking that that might be a thing to sort of eradicate in the future where I don't do uh, these super high quality uh, armies anymore and, and save the high quality painting for things like Old Hammer where I don't care how long it takes or things like Frostgrave. Um, yeah, so this is going to be the next at least two months, I think. Uh, probably more, probably three or four months. So I'm my my hope is that I'll be done by my birthday in May. Yeah, that would be good. 
and I think that should be possible as well. I, I also still have some uh, some um, commission stuff around that needs to be painted, so there's there's plenty to do, plenty to do. Um, but yeah, I think this is the the best w um, thing to do now is to just finish off these projects that have been just lingering because. Um, with every new thing that I start, more and more and more stuff piles up, and it's okay when it's uh, when it's still in boxes, you know, and and it, I, I can just stack it in the uh, in the cupboard. But when it's like, I mean, these are I already started painting these wolves, right? So they kind of have to sit in a box like this somewhere in the workspace, and that just takes up a bunch of space, and and I can't really put anything on top of it either because. You can see, like, there's, there's really fragile flagpoles and, and things like that. It's, it's just it's just a mess. So all of these started projects have to be dealt with. And, uh, yeah, so project cupboard clear up. Uh, we'll see how long it takes me. I'll try to be as quick as possible in finishing these. And I really hope that uh, by finishing the Gloom Spite Gits, I don't suddenly develop the... Uh, uh, the craving to get more of these. <laughs> because that would be kind of horrible. I guess if I got trolled it wouldn't be so bad because I hadn't, haven't painted any of those before. Oh well. Let's not even think about it. Let's, let's finish these and then after that, so hopefully before my birthday comes around, I'll be able to move on to uh, new pastures, which will be for sure the uh, Flesh Eater Quartz, of course. Um, which will actually be a very, very simple project, because I have a, a very simple uh, color scheme in mind for these um, that will allow me to just blast through that army at a rapid pace. Let me see, do I actually still have one of them sitting around here? Yes, I do. Cool. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a little sneak peek on what they are going to look like at the end. So what I have here is... Uh, basically what they are going to look like. Um, I base coated them black and then I sprayed them with uh, AK Interactive Intense Black, which makes them even blacker. And then I gave them sort of an all-around spray of um, Panzer Isis Periscopes right there. Uh, and then I gave them a Zenithal from the back so that it kind of looks like they're illuminated by moonlight from the back. And from the front, there's very little light, but as you can see, they have lovely glowing eyes and mouths. And so it's this sort of uh, illuminated from the back, you know, it's darkness in front. And they just have this uh, sort of spooky glow uh, on the inside. And I really like this look. Uh, I'm going to add some, some like little details. On this one, for example, I uh, gave the bones a sort of a, a bony wash. Might not do that with the rest. Um, I might put some some highlights on and stuff like that. We'll see. I, I haven't entirely finalized it yet, but this is definitely what I'm going to go for because I think a whole army of these just, uh, you know, sort of shadowy and pale moonlight in the back and then just the, the glowing eyes. I think that's going to look fantastic as an army. But I will not do any further uh, work on those until the other three projects are completed and out the door so I don't have to think about them anymore. <laughs> because they're starting to grate, especially these, these bloody gloom spite gits because they have been sitting here for years. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this little update. Uh, please follow along. I'll definitely be sure to, to update you on everything that I, that I finish in this uh, cleanup project. Uh, probably not going to be any Old Hammer or um, Demon World videos until I have completed this, because it, that's just distractions from what has to be done. And I, I really just have to get this out, because it, it's it's just weighing on me to have all this stuff unfinished, and I, I don't want that. All right. Uh, oh my god, 20 minutes of, of talking again. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video, um, hopefully very, very soon, so that... Um, there's some progress on these, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Take care. Oh, and have a nice weekend, of course, because it's a weekend now. Bye-bye.